So what we have here is Symphiotrichum lanceolatum. Symphiotrichum lanceolatum, also called the panicle aster. Symphiotrichums, uh, a couple decades ago, were moved from the aster genus. Um, just, uh, so now they're Symphiotrichums, um, which just means uh, growing together. And it's, uh, we'll talk about, maybe if we do one on New England aster, we can kind of talk about where that came from. Uh, so, Symphiotrachum uh, lanceolatum is one of the most abundant native perennial asters that we have in northern Indiana here, and it can reach up to uh, four to five feet tall, but usually I see it in two to three feet tall, depending on the habitat it's growing in. It likes its, its feet a little wet. It grows in more moist areas uh, than, than the other couple native weedy asters uh, that we have, which are Symphiotrachum pilosum uh, and the hairy aster, uh, and then Symphiotrichum um, lateriflorum. So what we see here is with, with all species in the Asteraceae, the Aster family, we have these, we have these, uh, let's see if we can focus there. We have these uh, flower heads. So each one of these, here's the, the ray flowers. So in Symphiotrichum lanceolatum, the flower heads are about a half inch to an inch wide. And these, these are called ray flowers. They're the petal-like uh, white flowers and they're white. They're sometimes a blue tinge, but very rarely. And that's what separates it. One of the things that separates it from the willow aster, Prieltum, Symphiotrichum Prieltum. Prieltum is going to have a bluish, bluish ray flowers. Uh, Lanceolatum is going to have white ray flowers. And we'll talk about a couple other differences there too uh, in a bit. Um, Calico aster, which is Lateriflorum, which is another weedy aster, uh, that's going to differ. In, it's going to have smaller flowers, usually a half inch or under or so, and uh, and the disc flowers here, which are yellow in, uh, in, in um, lanceolatum, they're going to be a little more purplish even at the beginning. Lanceolatum, they can, the disc flowers can often turn purple with age, uh, purplish with age, and there's 20 to 30, maybe 40 uh, disc flowers, that's these flowers right in here, you can see they've, it's turning into They've already been pollinated. Um, there is like 16, 15 to 50 ray flowers usually in a flower head. So quite showy of the, of the asters. Um, what else about this? Oh, let's, let's talk about the leaves here. So the leaves, as we can see here, let's go down here and look at these. So the leaves are, if we can get it, focused. Oh, back up, back up, back up. There we go. The leaves are hairless. So the underside of the leaf, the underside of the leaf is, um, is hairless here. We can get it focused. Uh, so it's hairless all the way across. On ladder of florum, it'll be hairy on the midrib. Uh, at least sparse hairs along the midrib. That's that big rib right there. Um, in Pilosum, the uh, hairy aster, it's going to be hairy, woo, not focusing, it's going to be hairy across the whole base. And then on Praeltum, if we can see this, I don't know if we can get this, my camera's not focusing well today. So on, uh, if we can see some reticulate pattern, let's see here if we can get this. Uh, you can't really see it well on this one, maybe if we grab some higher up on the Oh, and these, the leaves, I should mention, the leaves here, they're alternately arranged uh, and they, they're stalkless and they kind of just um, taper to, to, the, to the stem. Uh, they're not clasping like you see in, in New England aster or uh, fen aster. Uh, so they just taper in and they bite to the stem. Then they're, um, they're uh, stalkless but not clasping. So here, here you can kind of see on this one maybe, if I can get it focused, you can kind of see the reticulate pattern. See the reticulate pattern on the on the leaf, but it's not very. You can see it if let's back up here. You can see it there on Symphiotrichum praeltum. It's going to be so much more uh, so much more apparent. Um, it's very, much more pronounced. That reticulate pattern on the underside is much more pronounced. Uh, and also one of the differences between uh, Lanceolatum and Pilosum. The hairy asters, beside pilosum being covered in hair, so the stems here would be covered in hair. On lanceolatum, there may be 
a fringe of hair here and there on the on the edges, but it's not covered in hair. And the the phyleries, these bracked structures here underneath, if you can see that, these right there underneath the, the flowers, on pilosum. Uh, again, this is lanceolatum. On pilosum, it's going to have this sharp needle-like point, this projection coming out of each one of these these little filleries, these little filleries, which are right these things. I don't know if you can see my the sun's kind of. I've got to figure out how to do this with the sun. Anyway, uh, it, it spreads through seeds in underground rhizomes, which are underground stems. Um, Symphiotrichum praealtum. It's a or not praealtum. Oops, lanceolatum. Oh my goodness, Symphiotrichum lanceolatum. A really cool native plant. Beautiful. Uh, pollinators love it. Uh, it's gorgeous. It'll show up in your yard probably. You don't need to plant it. Anyway, uh, that's it. Cheers.